Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is a solo high score run of the Inverted Spire. It's the first one I've done since Joker's Wilds come out, since the changes to the Nightfall scorecards. So I'm doing it on Night Stalker, so we're running uh, Bygones, Borealis, Bad Omens, obviously Orpheus Rig because we're using Tether. My arms have Rocket Launcher Scavenger on and the helmet has Rocket Launcher Reserve so we can carry 7 rockets instead of the 6. I have took a power handicap of 160, which gives us a score multiplier of 4.05, which we use Void Singe, Heavyweight, Blackout, and um, Match Game to achieve that score. So I don't normally go with Blackout. I normally go with either Extinguish or Momentum. I figured that there aren't a lot of points within the Inverted Spire. It's, it's one of the more difficult ones to get 100k on. Blackout is actually the second highest negative modifier you can you can put on so i've went with the borealis obviously because a match game it negates all the different shields that we'll have to deal with and it's a ranged weapon so because blackouts on with melee attacks are really dangerous and we've no radar so we can do most of our damage from range there's like i think there's one part in this where you've got to be pretty careful but when we get to that point i will tell you exactly how i managed to do it safely. So I wasn't going to do another 100k because I felt like I covered them all. But since the, the changes, since the the Nightfall scorecard, I figured I, I would get the character to 700. And then I didn't really want to start doing runs before 700 because not that I didn't think you guys could do them. Obviously, I know that you, you guys are super talented. Obviously, you, you follow my videos. So you must be super talented. <laughs> but I, I figured that I... It's not really, you know, I, I I don't want to alienate anybody by doing runs that couldn't be easily repeated. And this can be pretty easily repeated. So, and the other reason I haven't been kind of, I've been dark for the past couple of weeks is because I got trapped in competitive going for Luna. Oh, that was a nightmare. But uh, I got it. I managed to acquire Luna. Uh, and the recluse i went for all the pinnacle weapons this time and i hopefully monday the video will be out about competitive i've got a few things to say about crucible probably be my one and only ever video about crucible so hopefully you guys will will enjoy that and it's something i normally don't say in my videos i was against saying it for a, for a long time but i figure it's it's kind of silly at this point not to say it if any of you guys are on Twitter and you fancy getting involved in some conversation or checking out just the kind of stuff that I say, I say a lot of stuff and put a lot of some stuff on Twitter that I don't, that doesn't make it into the videos, then I'll leave the, the link in the, the description to my Twitter page. I'm probably more active on Twitter than anywhere, anywhere else. So pop on over, say hi. I, I'm always, I'm always up for conversation. I'll answer any questions that you guys have. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. And I was I was pretty lucky with the last video I'd, I'd done, the, the Chasm of Screams, the Solo Thorn. It actually is it's getting a lot of love from you guys. I appreciate the support. I always do. You guys know that. And, uh, yep, yeah, but we're back. We're back to doing these. I will pick at least one a week. So if you guys, when it, when it comes around to reset, if you guys have got a preference then Twitter would be probably the best place to, to reach me on. But uh, let me know what ones you want to see. Are there weapons you would like to see me to test out to, to see if they're any good within this? I am going to do some runs with Pinnacle weapons. Uh, I got the 21% the, the Delirium, the Oxygen. Uh, actually, one of my favorites is the Loaded Question. I, I think that's a really good addition. Whereas I'm not so keen on the others. Uh, Luna, obviously, the Recluse. I think that's all I'm going to go for, to be fair. So let me know if you want to see any of them in videos. As I say, I, 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 I always try and get a conversation started. I, I love having that interaction with you guys. So as you can see, most of this is just stay back, do the damage from, from range. And this is the first real encounter. That last encounter... We had the Vex rotation. That's the worst rotation to get. So when you get the two Minotaurs, that's not a great rotation. 
if you get the hydras, you get a lot more points. And as you can see there, and I've I, I just never paid it any attention. It's time consuming, but it's pretty cool, but it's time consuming. We got the tank. So I could have took the tank through here, but like I say, it's pretty time consuming. So this section here, it can be a little bit hit and miss. Points wise, as you can see, we, we come out of there. We we didn't come up with as many points I would I would have liked. You know, the hydras give you the most points. So you can come out of there with the hydras with like twenty six thousand, uh, and and with the rota the, the rotation we got, you can get anywhere between fourteen and nineteen thousand. So that's what why I've put the black blackout on. And plus, there really is only one part in this this nightfall where you you stand a chance of getting rushed, and that's once you've completed this section, you t you use the the transporter to to throw you over. If you get dogs there, now there, there, there's a decent amount of points if you get dogs. But they can push you. But the, the, this is why we went tether. It's really the only place that tether's super useful. Now you can use it here, and you'll see I will because there's a lot of void here. We don't have a boss here, which <clears throat> we know that if you've not got a boss, if you've not got a boss here, you'll be done at the drill. And similar, if he's not over the other side. You'll, 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 you'll get one down at the drill. So we know we've got one down at the drill. So rather than waste rockets, because he kind of, you kind of have to juke him a little bit when he's here. As you can see, a lot of movement. I didn't really want to waste, waste a rocket. <clears throat> so I just set it to arc. I kept it on arc. Borealis does a lot of damage. As you can see, he's almost dead. If I can just get one more, one more crit and he's gone. So we're going to tether these minotaurs. Regardless of what enemies you get here, a tether is perfect. So we'll just finish them off real quick with a rocket. A lot of void shields. And this is the curated roll uh, that you get for reaching the second rank in, in Gambit. I actually got a curated... I never got the curated roll. I got the curated roll without it being curated. I got the tracking cluster actually as a drop well before I, I, I reached rank 2. I just never used it because rockets were kind of, understandably, rockets were in a bad place. Uh, anybody that remembers the the dark days, <laughs> uh, Destiny Two Year One, basically it, it was all all rifle, scout rifle, uh, and rocket launchers. Bit of sidearm, a little bit of uh, SMG, but that was about it. So. I kind of, I kind of was done with rockets as as a weapon type. I'd used them so much, but after having a couple of months off them, yeah, they are pretty good. There, there is my two favourites. I like the War Cliff obviously, but it takes up that exotic slot, and it's more of a close range kind of. It's it's a super attacking type of rocket. Zenobia D, I featured it in a video six months ago. The fact that it always comes with tracking. If you can get one with cluster, it's uh, it's a lot better. Uh, it the, the tracking is intrinsic, so it'll never say it tracks. It's part of the weapon frame. So every Zenobia D tracks. Just about. I think it's every one tracks because it's it's intrinsic to the weapon. It's not it's not a, a random perk. It's part of the weapon's frame. So and the bad omens, bad omens is really good. There are there are other good ones, but they are my favourite because you can get them with tracking cluster. And although cluster's been nerfed a little bit, it's still it you still do extra damage with cluster. It's that simple. You do extra damage with cluster, and the sixty percent additional hit damage just from the rocket. You add that little bit of cluster on. It's it's, it's good. So. As you can see, we come down here, do get, you, you know, I did take a bit of damage there. I would suggest just to be a bit a bit more clever than I was there. You know, I was confident that I wasn't going to die, but it was it was pretty close. Come to this left-hand corner if it's dogs. It doesn't matter what it is, because you want to put yourself in a position where ads can't spawn in behind you. So, you know that you're going to be safe here. Uh... Dogs will rush you a bit more. But uh, if you're here, you can tether this area in front of you. I wasn't getting dogs, so I've moved down to the right a little bit. When you get dogs, you can go 
push up to a bit more to the left of where I actually was. So we're, we're just tethering. I probably could have done a bit more than what I've done here damage-wise. Uh, I left all the harpies just for, for the time, but it turned out we had tons of time. So I probably could have stayed here and took out all the ads and got another, you know, a couple of thousand points maybe. But at the end of the day, I knew because of what 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 we were doing because of the the strike, uh, that with the rotation, we weren't gonna get massive scores anyway. So I'm just having a little little look about, just to make sure I haven't missed any heavy. Any time that you're moving about, any time that you're moving to see, make yourself the hardest target you can. Jump, slide, dodge, the whole nine. So I've changed it back to void. I knew I would need void for the next section, just before the boss. And it, as you can see, it works out really well here. Just one hit to take down their shield and then the Borealis finishes them off. Take these three guys up here. No problem. We've got one more down here and then we've got some ads down at the bottom. So while whilst 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 we're taking these out, I'll just throw this out there. How many of you guys seen the, the trailer for Borderlands 3? It's not destiny related, I understand. But uh I'm super excited by it because Borderlands was my game before Destiny. So expect when it comes out for me to play a, a a decent amount of Borderlands, so I hope you guys, I hope you guys are looking forward to it, and I hope you guys will enjoy any content I make for it. So I thought I'd just get that out there because I've done nothing but listen to the music and watch, watch the trailer for the last two days. It's, it's exceptional. So as you can see, I've put a tether on these ads. Get back to the strike. Don't stray off it too far. I put I put the tether, and the tether really did do a lot of damage. Because it, the void damage it shared it, and the the thing I think I've said this before in a video, the the high value targets got solar shield. But if you take out the 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 incendiars, obviously they explode solar, so they'll take his shield out, and then the void tether, <clears throat> it all put together is perfect. So take these ads out now. I could see that I could see that I I was still a little bit off the hundred k. I had no intention of fighting waves of ads when we got down here. I knew I'd had a bad rotation of ads, so I had to take out a few ads up here just to give myself that that ability to get the hundred k. So there's another elite down here. As you can see, that's two thousand points for taking those out. There's another elite down here, so we're going to take some of these ads here. We're safe where we're standing. We're safe here. So I looked. We're almost at the 100k. I know I've got another elite. I've got an elite harpy. So I'm just changing to arc. Because the, the arc shielded. And then basically now it's about killing the boss. Now I didn't one phase the boss. Uh, wrong weapons for the job to one phase him. But I wasn't really interested in one phase them. I was just interested in killing them before we started losing points. So we get down here. We're gonna, what we're going to do is take the shields for these three harpies. And then I'm going to put a tether on just to add damage to the boss. And and then follow them down the... You know, follow them down to the next section. And <clears throat> we take them all the way down to the bottom. But it's cool. You'll see. You'll you'll see what's going to happen here. I'll tether. I'll throw a grenade. I'll throw my smoke, and then one rocket, two rockets. Two. You want to get the second rocket off while he's still stunned, and put the third one on. That's all you're going to need here. When we go down to the next section, I'm not going to rocket them at all. You can, but I chose not to. I changed my my snipers now on void. And I'm just, I've got it on Void Burn, Void Singe. So I wasn't sure if he'd be immune. That's why I didn't rock him. So I wait for him to get his weapon set, and he wasn't immune. So now I can take his head off, stop shooting when he pummels the ground, because he goes, he goes uh, immune, and just keep putting him on. So basically, because he moves when he gets to the bottom here, the chances of getting one full rocket damage on him 
Then it's not impossible. It's not even nearly impossible. It's just harder because he's moving. So I've come here, as, as I say, I don't want these ads getting too close to me because obviously we've got uh, blackout on. One ad does encroach me. It's fine. I could have I could have just mellied them. Remember, you've got your invisibility. Dodge reload. The first rocket just completely misses. So we know now two rockets. He's gone. And there you go, guys. There's a hundred solo hundred thousand. Like I've said. Uh, nip, uh, any of you guys that are on Twitter, come and have a look at me on Twitter. If you've got any suggestions when the nightfalls come around, let me know what you guys want to see because that's what the point of the channel is to give you guys what you want to see. Thank you very much for watching, guys. The support I've been showing over the past couple of weeks has been very humbling. Keep it coming. I know I shouldn't say that, but I will. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.